All right, we're going to talk about how to template a picture for print. All right, I have uh, my guide right here. And if you click on this last one, template for print, these are the directions. Okay, I just thought I'd make a tutorial um, just to help you out if you don't understand what I'm talking about here in the um, directions there. So I'm going to open up an, a PSD that has been added in, has my uh, adjustments. So the first thing I want to do, since this is a vertical image and I need it to be horizontal because my template is horizontal, I must rotate that. Okay. So I'm going to go to image, um, image rotation clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't really matter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten all these layers into one. So I go to my layers menu. I go down to flatten image. Now it's just one layer. And now I need to size it to fit my template. So I'm going to go to image, image size. Now, if the resolution is 300, then I do not have to click off this resample. Resample. Let's say it was 72. Okay. I would need to check off that resample, take this to 300, and then click on the resample, and then make sure that the height goes to this magic number, which is 3.62. Not worrying about the width, only worried about the height. So I'm going to press OK. That's either going to make the image smaller or larger, usually smaller. I'm going to grab the uh, top tool, which is the move tool, and I'm going to drag it up. Let this open up. I still have my mouse down and drag it down and drop it. OK, now it should snap right in there to the guides. Um, the reason it snapped right in there is because I had um, the snap on. So snap to guides right there. Make sure that that is checked on. So that way you can see that it snaps right in there and snaps right in there. Now, it'll touch three guides and it won't touch the final fourth guide, but that's okay because I'll trim it right here. All right. So now what I have to do is since that added a layer. I want to flatten that. And the last thing you do before print is to sharpen. Okay. So usually the picture is probably pretty sharp. You just need to sharpen it up a little bit more because the printing process softens um, the picture a little bit. So what you want to do is go to filter Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Okay, now I really don't look too much at this window. I will have it up and I will have it at 100%, but I like to look at the whole image below. Okay, just make sure preview is checked right up here. All right, so to start off with, I want the radius usually set around one. Point nine is fine. Um, and then I change the amount of sharpening I want. Now if I pump it up a lot, okay, you can see that there's lots of sharpening happening right here. And if you want a preview of that, you can come out here, click on the hand, that's before, that's after. So that's probably too much sharpening. So usually it's going to be under 200. I'm going to take the radius up a little bit. I come out here and you can see it just sharpens it up a little bit. That's what we want. A little bit more crispness. Make sure that lens blur is on. Reduce noise. You can mess with that a little bit if you're finding out in this image that it's starting to get a little bit sort of uh, grainy. Um, this looks pretty good right here. Maybe I'll take it up just a hair 
and then press OK. Now I'm ready to save. So I just go up to File, Save As. You want to save it as your first name, underscore last name, underscore one for project, so project one, underscore one for one of the three pictures I'm going, going to hand in. You want to go to the desktop and you want it to be a JPEG. Press save, make sure it's at full quality, which is 12 and a JPEG. Press OK. All right, so I can close out of the template and I can close out of this picture. It's going to ask me, do I want to save it? Definitely do not save because you resized it, so don't save. All right, now you might fall into a circumstance where you have an extra long one or extra tall image. If that's the case, you just got to be careful of how you size it. So let me show you how you would do that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new template by dragging that over to Photoshop. So notice that right off the bat, I don't have to rotate it because it's already the same um, horizontal format as my uh, template. So all I have to do is come over here come down to flatten image and go to image image size okay it's already set at 300 so I don't have to check this and change it and check it again so all I have to do is take the height to that magic number 3.62 and take a look at the width if the width is above 5.62 then you change the width instead of the height. So it is, so that means it's gonna to be too long for my template. So I'm gonna change that to 5.62 for the width, and I'm not gonna worry about the height. Then I press okay. Okay, I grab my move tool and I drag it up, hold, I keep, keep my mouse down, and then I let go of my, my, my mouse. Okay, and then I go ahead and snap it into those guides. Now it's gonna to touch three of those guides. It's not gonna to touch the bottom one, but that's okay. Like I said before, I'll trim that. I have two layers over here, which I have to flatten before I sharpen. Yeah. Filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. Okay, notice it has those uh, same numbers that I had before. Every image is going to be a little bit different, so you got to worry about um, each image separately. Okay, so I'm going to see what these give me right off the bat, so I'm going to come out here and press the hand. That really does sharpen it up, that tree, quite a bit, almost too much. So I think I'm going to take a little bit off that. Maybe right in there would be good. I'm going to leave the radius at 1.2. Noise, if I look out here, it seems seems to be okay. So I'm going to leave it right where it is and press OK. Now I'm done. I can save it. Okay, file, save as. Again, first name, underscore, last name, underscore. Project one underscore picture two to the desktop and save. 12 for the quality, press OK. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of this. I'm not gonna save anything. So these are my two images that I just templated and they're ready to go for print. Okay, so basically what I have to do at this point is make sure those go in my print folder, okay, and that I hand those in to be printed. And the way you do that is you go to the art site. You scroll down to the orange section. And right at the very bottom, 
online Dropbox. That's where I'm going to drop my pictures. Photography one. Okay, add files from my computer. Okay, here's my desktop. I want to add this one, and I'm going to hold the uh, command key and add this one. And then I'm going to open those up, it shows me them, and then I go ahead and upload those. And that's it. I will get an email saying that you turned them in, and then I will print those. Okay? So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, take care.